hey guys what's up so this isn't a review and I know I haven't uploaded anything in a week and I usually upload like at least one or two things a week even now that I have a job I'm still uploading uh, at least a, a decent amount of the time but I've been preoccupied I've been doing a uh, horror movie marathon which I know every uh, horror fan does like horror movie marathons around October but I'm doing a completely different one where I watch a film I've never seen before every single day and um, I've been you know posting about them on my uh, tumblr and my twitter account so if you want to see any of that crap you gotta go there this is uh, a bit strange because this package arrived on my doorstep this morning and I don't know who it's from it's only got my address and no return address and it looks like it's about to burst so uh, I'm kinda scared and if this is gonna be my last will and testament then uh, I wanna be buried with my movies let's just uh, rip this fucking thing Ooh, ooh, my stomach. Uh, okay, looks like uh, looks like s someone got me some movies. That's that's really nice. Uh, uh, one, two, six, six movies. Not bad. I guess we should start uh, from from the from the top. Uh, starting from the top, we have a movie called. Leith, called I Will Dance on Your Grave Lethal Victims. Um, it's part of a series that I've heard of before. Uh, the other entries in the series being I Will Dance on Your Grave, Killing Spree, uh, I Will Dance on Your Grave, Cannibal Hookers, and I Will Dance on Your Grave, Savage Vengeance, and all of them are kind of like really, really terrible revenge films from the 80s. Uh, the most notable one is Cannibal Hookers, which is literally about two college girls that go out uh, and dress up as hookers as a sorority initiation and then they end up becoming zombies and then there's zombie hookers and stuff like that and that one's probably the most well known and considered the worst of the series uh, this this one is a bit interesting because it's called it, an alternate title for it is um, death blow a cry for justice and another title for it is uh, is war um, you know, like an acronym, which stands for Women Against Rape. And it's literally a movie about, uh, uh, like a group of women, a group of, like, kind of vigilante women that go around and killing, killing and rapists and getting revenge on rapists and people who have to, uh, viciously attack women. And, I mean, you know, right on, party on, you know, that's, that's what we should do. Um, but this movie is really, really bad, and I, I, I mean, I've only watched about half of it, and it's pretty terrible. Yes, the, 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 the yeah, the, if you, if you couldn't have guessed by now, this is a, uh, I, I just put, I, only a few of these actually arrived today, the rest of them were just stuff I've been holding on to, and my fucking dogs are being loud. Um, next we have another exploitation film, this one from the, uh, late 70s, I believe. It's uh, Alsa the Wicked Warden, which um, was directed by Jess Franco, who is a uh, exploitation film director from Spain, and he died a few years back, which is very sad, and he left behind a very large filmography, mostly of really, really cheesy, badly made exploitation and horror films. I've only seen, well, other than this film, I've already watched it, but other than this, I've only seen one other movie from him, and it is Oasis of the Zombies, which is considered to be his worst movie, and it is indeed really, really terrible. An alternate title for the film is Blood Sucking Nazi Zombies, which is an amazing title. Sadly, the movie is not good at all. Not even worth a giggle. Um, but I know the guy has a pretty big reputation when it comes to making really trashy kind of exploitation films. And I figured him taking his hand, trying his hand at Elsa would be interesting. Thing is, this movie wasn't intended to be an Elsa film. It was originally called Wanda the Wicked Warden and Greta the Mad Butcher, Greta the Sadist. And eventually upon, you know, release, people saw Diane Thorne and then they started advertising this as an Elsa film. When this is not actually a film in the series. Um... So, as of now, I own three of the Elsa movies, and only one of them is really that good. I don't think I'll ever watch this again, and I bought this for $6 off eBay. It's another one of these really cheap, kind of Korean 
like releases that says it's completely uncut, but it's not. Um, at least according to this, it's not. Uh, it's, it's not cut at all. At least according to the back of this and IMDb, it's not cut. But it seems like it's cut. And uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, it's it's one of these you know kind of South Korean. Uh, or yeah, I think it's Korean. Yeah, Korean DVD releases of movies that are more common than uh, like previous releases of it. So this is the most common release right now, and it is okay. I've seen other DVD releases from um, of like older movies that are out of print from them and from uh, from uh, South Korea, and they're really really good releases, or at least pretty good releases. Like uh, my copy of Possession, I have back here. Uh, it's I can reach it, but I really don't want to pull it off the shelf. Um, next we have another. Finally, I own like all five of the really big new French extremity films. Uh, this is Inside, that film about the woman who's just stalking the pregnant woman, and she wants to cut out her baby, and claim it as her own. And it, it's it's still extremely violent and gruesome and gory and kind of creepy as hell and definitely kind of disturbing and there's a fucking stink bug in my window and it is bothering me. <sighs> Sorry. Um but yeah, no, it this is this is an out of print release. I got this for like twelve dollars off eBay, which at one point this was going new for like forty dollars, so that's not that bad. Um, you know, I really like the movie. It's definitely not the best new French extremity film, but I really enjoy it. And I'm happy that I can finally put it in my collection with the other new French extremity films like Martyrs and High Tension and Frontiers and Eels. So yeah. Next we have the stuff that actually arrived today. Um I don't know if you guys know this, but if you don't, uh, this this is, might be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Tremors series. I really love almost every entry in the film, except for the four, ex, ex, every entry in the series except for the fourth movie. The fourth movie is very, very lackluster, and I really can't like. I don't, really don't like it at all. This one is the fifth one, and it's Tremors Five Bloodlines, and I pre-ordered this Blu-ray of it months ago. And, uh, The Tremors is probably one of my favorite, like, science fiction horror films. And I really love the original. I, uh, like the sequel. The sequel's really good. The third, the third movie is a bit okay. It's not great, but it's still watchable. The fourth one's not that good. And if I had to rate this one, it's probably, it's probably between part, um, two and part three like it's definitely in between those two because there are some times when it's just like uh eh, this really you know i mean it's a tremors film it definitely has the spirit but uh and then there are other times where you're like yeah this is what tremors is all about hunting monsters and shit and this has jamie kennedy in it who was in uh malibu's most wanted which um that's a pretty big cult film i'm pretty sure uh, he does a good job here, and uh, Michael Gross does a really good job. I really wish they would have gotten Ke would have got Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward back in the fucking Dutch. There could be some somebody breaking into my house right now, and I'm so pissed off that they're ruining this 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 recording session that I'm literally telling whoever could be breaking into my house that I'm up here and they can kill me. Ugh. Speaking of home invasions, we have a home invade not a or kind of a home invasion horror film. Um, it is a it is a region free copy, and this is the new release of the film from Cult Epics. Previously, it was uh, out of print. So, um, yeah, this is a film that I often hear is very disturbing, and it's an Austrian horror film uh, based on a true story, based on the true story of uh, the murderer Werner Keensick, and uh, it's Angst, which I've never seen this before. I grabbed it off of, I grabbed it, I, uh, they said it was a used copy, but this is a new copy of it, apparently, that they sent to me because it was sealed and everything. Um, it, they just sent me, they, I ordered this off eBay for like 15, not 15 bucks, like $20, and mainly because the DVD and Blu-ray of it are like $30 right now on Amazon, so I figured why the fuck not. 
And finally, something else I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered this like the day before it came out because I've been interested in checking this one out ever since. Um, ever since Screen Factory said they were going to release it, it's uh, uh, James James Rade's new movie uh, Gravy, which I really prefer the uh, the original like poster artwork for the film. I really really dig it, um, which is why I love Scream Factory for doing reverse uh, covers, reverse like wraps. Um, but I haven't watched this one yet. I just got it today, and uh, I'm really interested in watching because it it's kind of like a cannibal, like horror comedy. Although on IMDb it's only listed as a comedy, even though it says in the description it's about you know like murderous cannibals who hold people hostage. So I'm interested in seeing this one, and apparently it's a very very funny funny movie. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all I really heard. This movie has Sarah Silverman in it. I did not know that. But I'm going to go watch some of these. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go shut up these dogs and see what they're barking at. And uh, go watch maybe Angst or something. I'm, I, I want to watch Angst. Or maybe Gravy. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.